Well, we have two uh, trinomials yet to factor. Each one involves a couple of variables. Let's start here. Now the first term and the last term have different signs. So our middle term is a difference and when we factor this, the uh, expressions that will be multiplied together to form this trinomial will have different signs. So the, pro the uh, factors of a squared are a and a. And next issue is, oh yes, we have a b squared here. So ignoring the uh, 15, uh, the factors of b squared are b and b. So now we have to deal with the 15, and the factors of 15 are 1 and 15 and 3 and 5. And uh, the factors uh, of 15, 3 and 5 have a difference of 2. So we, we'll assign a 3 and a 5 to respectively. And now the issue is, who gets the positive? Well, since the middle term is positive, then the larger of the two factors, 3 or 5, will get the positive. So that means 5 gets the positive. And since these two expressions must have different signs, the 3 will get the negative. Now let's uh, try this out. a times a is a squared. Negative 3b times positive 5b is negative 15b squared. Now for the middle term, if we multiply the two inside terms, we get negative 3ab. If we multiply the two outside terms, we get 5ab. And if we sum these, in other words, it's a going to be a difference because the signs are opposite, we're going to get a 2ab, and we've got a match. Notice our middle term here is 2ab. So, thus, uh, when we factor a squared plus 2ab minus 15b squared, we get a minus 3b times the quantity a plus 5b. Now for the next one, our first step is to look for a common factor throughout. And it turns out 3 is common to each term, m is common to each term, so is n. So we will immediately factor a 3m n out of each term. And what we have left is, let's see, relative to the first term, the 3 is accounted for, the m is, and uh, oh yes, since the smallest exponent on n in the uh, given expression is 1, then we can only factor out a uh, n to the first. So now n times what is n cubed? And that's going to be n squared. And notice if we multiply 3mn times n squared, we're going to come up with 3mn cubed plus 3 goes into 12 how many f times, and that's 4. The m is accounted for, but we have one more factor of n here. So since that isn't accounted for, we will install it. Now, 3 goes into 96 how many times, and that turns out to be 32. And notice the m and the n are clearly accounted for. Next step. Uh, we've got to find all the factors of 32 that have a difference of 4. So 32, the factors are 1 and 32, 2 and 16, and 4 and 8. And notice the factors 4 and 8 have a difference of 4. So now, 
this expression factors into 3m n parentheses parentheses and we need an n and an n and we need a 4 and an 8 then the next question is which of these expressions factors gets the plus sign well, since the middle term is positive, then the largest of the two factors, 4 or 8, will get the positive. That means 8 gets the positive. And since any time your first and last signs disagree, then the signs in the uh, corresponding factors will also disagree, so the 4 gets the negative. Now let's try it out. n times n is n squared negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Negative 4n, this product, plus 8n gives back 4n. So we're done. Uh, 3mn cubed plus 12mn squared minus 96mn factors in 2. 3mn times the quantity n minus 4 times the quantity n plus 5.